plus up one Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. Oh, we're going to talk about training right now, okay? We're going to talk about training in the morning versus training later in the day, perhaps the evening. Basically, AM versus PM training. Which is better? Which do I prefer? Which do I recommend you do? The number one thing to realize is everybody's different. Some people like training in the morning some people like training in the evening but i will say that i'm going to recommend that if you're starting a training regiment to keep it going as long as i have i've been training for over 30 years and i know you're wondering mark you don't look a day over 26 but but i digress i digress you know i'm just saying like (laughs) i'm just playing i look way older than that i look at least 32 at the end of the day If you train first thing in the morning, there are very few things that can derail you because you already got it out of the way, out of the way. When you have a job, when you have a career, when you have kids, you have soccer games at night, football games, you might have a meeting run over. You might not get to the gym till 10, 11 o'clock. You're tired. You're hungry. You're, you're whatever. It's hard to get to the gym after work. It just is. So I actually compiled a little note, some notes right here about training in the morning versus the evening. Okay. Now we always get different ideas of it right like a lot of people say well i can't really get going until i have two meals in my body bro uh maybe maybe some people have really fast metabolism at the end of the day the food's in your stomach your body has nutrients and substrate and i'm going to go over nutrition around your training i'm actually getting ready for training right now that'll help you train in the morning okay for people who like to eat food people who don't like to eat food whatever it is okay so here are the pros of training in the morning Okay, boosted metabolism. It can actually jumpstart your metabolism and help you burn calories throughout the day, aiding in weight management and fat loss. A study published in the American Journal of Physiology and Endocrinology and Metabolism found that morning exercise experienced a greater increase in resting metabolic rate versus those who exercise later in the day. That can explain why I'm so hungry. (laughs) (laughs) I'm <laughs> just kidding. If you do have too much hunger, take ambrosia, no morbidity, by the way. Consistency. This is what I this is my main thing. The number one way to get results long term is to stick to it. Find a plan you like, whether it's P90X, CrossFit, hit. I don't care what it is, bro splits, uh, schmo splits, don't care. Go at it every day, okay? Um, it becomes part of your daily routine ensuring that you consistently meet your fitness goals. According to research in the British Journal of Health and uh, Psychology, okay, morning exercise is more likely to establish a lasting exercise habit compared to their counterparts. And look, man, if you go to the gym in the evening, you notice that the crowd always changes. Yet I could probably go to the gym I went to in 1997 in Simi Valley, California. I went to college at California Lutheran University in Thousand Oaks. I, I bet you a lot of the people in the morning were going there back then. Another thing that I, this is the reason I love training in the morning. And today I didn't get a chance to because I had something early and I got home late last night. By the way, guys, my daughter's team qualified for the state championship. They are finalists. Um, I believe it's five double A or five triple A, the highest region in the, uh, in the state. So they were the number six um, seed in their district. They suck during the season to be blunt and they're playing the number one team in the nation tomorrow. So by the time you see this video, you'll probably, you'll probably already know <laughs> because I'll probably post it on my Instagram. So, improve mood and focus like when you exercise in the morning you release all those endorphins it enhances good mood and it gets you a pause like you you get this positive flow for the day because you already did something hard right it can improve focus focus cognitive function um and and again like if you have a busy work or school schedule you got those endorphins pumping for at least the first part of the day enjoy it enjoy it now there are some drawbacks right like in the morning i'm the opposite i wake up my body feels great as the day goes on it tends to get stiffer a lot of people do not have the same mobility in the morning as they do in the evening for me it's the opposite it seems like i have more mobility and i feel better when i wake up that could be to be due to me being a morning person which there is there are morning and night people there are so if you're not a morning person yeah good luck and lower performance so it might lead to slightly lower performance because your core temperature is lower and muscle function they're at their lowest points when you wake up they just are um 
So what are the pros to nighttime exercise? Increased strength and performance. It's something I've known for decades. I've known this for a long time. Um, in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning, research suggests that strength and endurance tend to peak in the late afternoon and early evening. That can mean you could get improved performance. Another thing is stress relief, okay? Now, if you had a rough day, and you go train, man, that gets it out of your system. On days I train, I have a rough day. I sometimes have to go do exercise just to unwind. Um, in the European Journal of Applied Physiology, they found that evening exercise was associated with reduced stress and hormone levels. Okay, the cons for evening, this happens to a lot of people, sleep disruption, especially those who take pre-workout too close to bed, that'll help. So you can't really take pre-workout, and I love pre-workout. I make pre-workouts. I'm drinking some right now, Ambrosia Kinetic in here. Hell yeah. And um, so you have the sleep disruption because it also elevates your heart rate and body temperature, which is why you take a warm shower before bed because that forces your body to cool it down, which increases, decreases your body temperature. Um, and of course, we went over this before consistency. In the evening, stuff happens. Like there's so many times that things come up that I have to handle in the evening. From work commitments to school commitments to sport commitments, it just happens, right? So here is why I believe morning workouts are better. One is you're most li more likely to stick to them. Two is a slight increase in daily metabolism. Not that I think it matters that much, but it's there. Enhanced mood and productivity. Um, it helps you establish a routine where you won't skip because you're doing it first thing becomes your priority. Um, better sleep because you're not raising that core temperature. And for people like me, you're not taking that pre-workout. Um, but again, I will emphasize, if you train better in the evening, by all means, train in the evening. If you train better in the morning, by all means, train in the morning. But if you're looking to make this a lifestyle, if you're looking to make this long-term, everybody I know from my training, from my business partners, Mike Rasheed and Sean Torbati, um, we always train when I'm in California once every couple weeks. We always start the day with a workout together. Always. It's a non-negotiable. Before we go to the office, we head to the gym. We get a workout in. We get some cardio. We get some sauna. We shower. We go to the gym. And then we go crush the day. That's just how it is. When I'm here, I either train at my house or I train at Carbon Performance when I'm at home. Go, if I'm at home, I usually train, hit the sauna, cold shower, boom, out the door. Okay, I love it. I love it. It's how I live my life. It's been a part of my life for the last probably 20 years I've been doing it like this. And uh, I recommend you do the same. Now, what do you eat pre-workout if you're training? For, let's say you're like me, you walk downstairs. So if you drive to the gym, on the way to the gym, eat an outright bar. On the way to the, I, I just ate this. I'm about to train. I, I'm not faking the funk. I got kinetic in my cup and I got an outright bar in my belly. I just ate this. So eat your outright bar, okay? If you do not go to the gym and train at home or you're going on a jog or a walk or whatever, then we're actually selling this two for one. We are doing a BOGO on this, man. Buy one, get one free, intra advantage. We don't have that many left, but this has carb 10, it has the, the dextrin. It has the, oh, the, the best carb sources, right? Like, let me read this here. It has, per scoop, 18 grams of carbs, okay? Then we have an electrolyte blend. Then we have an EAA blend of 7 grams, okay? 7 grams of amino 9. We got the pea starch, which is carb 10, carb 10 beta cyclic dextrin, and, of course, taurine. This is a phenomenal product. It's 30 bucks for two of these. For two of these, look at this, 30 bucks. All that stuff, essential amino acids, it's got the cyclic dextrin, it's got the carb 10, perfect carb sources for your workout. Tigerfitness.com now, they will be sold out soon. Go to tigerfitness.com, buy this. We discontinued this, the brand just didn't keep kick off, but I tell you this, I have 24 of these in my house for when they do sell out, and I can't get more because I love them, and I'm gonna cry the day they're gone. But I recommend you gobble those up. Ah, Thanksgiving comes up, gobble, gobble, gobble. And, uh, and then after training, just go eat breakfast. Go eat your normal breakfast. Do what you need to do. I'm not the biggest post, pre, whatever workout guy, but I love having intra-workout carbs. I think they help, I, especially in the morning. In the morning, it gets you, and this has a low molecular weight, so it just drives the amino acids into your cells. So when I train at home, I don't even have an outright bar pre-workout. I don't. I just go downstairs, I have two scoops of this, and I'm ready to rock. But since I'm training midday today, because this morning I had to get up early again, I was out late at my daughter's uh, state, state soccer tournament, 
uh, whatever it is. And so semifinals. So I had to wake up early. I had a couple clients training people. So, you know, I really think that you will enjoy this schedule. I think it'll do very well for you. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching. Once again, um, this is available at tigerfitness.com, intra advantage, um, buy one, get one free. And uh, if you need anything at all, uh, let me know. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to tell me what you do. Do you train in the morning, train in the evening? Comment down below and um, like this video, subscribe to this channel, click on the notification bell. Remember, that's not a game. The IRI bar was created for my kids. My kids need a snack to eat during soccer tournaments. And also I wanted a bar for myself to eat pre-workout, post-workout, and also throughout the day. You want your outright bars right now. That's why we have a partnership going with the Vitamin Shop to make sure that we're in all 750 plus locations, providing the best price, the best service, the best people to give you the outright bar when and where you need it.